Well, anyway, uh, this will be stand up for those of you that want to laugh. And those of you that don't want to laugh, we'll just consider it spoken word. <laughs> Cover both sides of my cheek here. Stand it up. Anyway, I was thinking today, uh, I listened to the news and everything like that, and I was reminiscing about uh, how much BP cares about me. The small people. I'm David Little, so you know, does that really mean that BP really cares about me? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I'm drunk. Right? But uh, I was thinking about our tough job that our uh, that our president has. You know, people that uh, you know they want him to go down to the Gulf, and uh, they want him to get in the water. You know, to show that it's safe to get in the water and eat the food to prove that there's you know no contamination. Everything is all fine and all good. That would be a tough job. Now, if I were the president, I would handle it uh, a totally different way. He had a press conference and everything, and I would have a, I would tweak the press conference that he had just a little bit in terms of him wanting me to eat the food and get in the water. This is what I would probably what I would what I would say if I were president. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oil is no longer, thank you, I love you too, thank you. Oil is no longer flowing in the Gulf. And I would like to thank my team of Obama supporters. My team consists of Bo Obama, my Secret Service agents, and my Obama lookalike, which I carry around with me everywhere I go. My team, they sample all of my food. They swim in every water or before I get wet. And so I just want to thank my team. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless. United States of America. They keep me safe, they keep you safe too. Thank you. That's what I would do if I were president. There would definitely be some uh, screening. You know, uh, everybody, it seems to be a really tense summer. summer. People are just kind of uptight and everything like that. I, you know, I, I, I uh, equate it sometimes to like the rat race. You know, we're all getting caught up in the rat race and the maze and, you know, sometimes taking it out on each other. And uh, I look at transportation, you know, and I figure sometimes, you know, we're in a transportation civil war. It's like a transportation civil war. Example, anybody biker? Anybody motorcycle person? Boom, 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 boom. Those folks, we need to show them some love. Show them some attention, right? Because, you know, mom, 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 here I am, look at me, oh, 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 oh. Look at them, give them some love, salute them, show them some attention. Because if they don't, if you don't, they're not going to move on and it won't be quiet, you know? Anyway. Oh, or on the other extreme, there's the, uh, they got a vehicle, the uh, hybrid vehicles. The electric vehicles, they were too quiet. Actually, people were getting run over. They're actually flipping the switch and they're making them a little bit louder, right? I'm not lying about that. They're making the hybrid vehicles louder so people can hear it. People were getting hit. In fact, hunters, elk and deer hunters, they were actually, they put their rifles away. They were hunting with their hybrids. They turn on their high beams and go, oh, come on. Hunting with my hybrid. Turn, oh, here we go. Oh, got a good one. Come on. All right. Yeah. Hunting with my hybrid. Transportation civil war. Outrageous. I don't know if anybody take public transportation. I take public transportation. Anybody ever take the Max or the bus? Yeah. Doesn't it seem like it's more crowded on the bus than the Max nowadays. I noticed in particular for some reason, like people now, I think the new millennium has a new definition for riding your bike. 
people now when they say they're riding their bike, they're taking their bike to go on the bus or on the max to go for a ride. When people nowadays, the new millennium, the language now for, for walking your dog, they're taking their dog to the bus or to the max and they're going for a ride and then they're riding back home. I'm not talking about hearing or seeing impaired or anything like that, but just a lot of people. It's making it for a lot more crowded on, on, the, on the bus and transit system. But I noticed one thing, you know, if you ever feel your personal space is invaded, this one lady on the bus the other day, she had this magic solution. Here's the solution. She had an iron and she was coming to it. People were parting like the Red Sea. It was a cold iron. But it was an iron, and people get out your way when they see an iron coming down the aisle. Just a thought. Just a thought if you need that little bubble, that personal space. Yeah. Transportation civil war. Transportation civil war. We even have now, I believe now in the future, you know how we have ringtones? I believe shortly we're going to be having horn tones. Yeah. When somebody cuts you off in traffic or flips you off or something, you're going to be able to express yourself. Not just with a regular bump, horn, no. You're going to be able to put your favorite angry song on there. Something like, you know, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. Move! Get out the way! Get out the way! Get out the way! Move! And I took out the bad word because it's a family show I'm taping here. So. You can use your, you want to hear the, you want to hear the bad version? <laughs> use your imagination if you ever get cut off. Yeah. And in fact, they're also developing, not too long from now, flying cars, right? You guys hear about that? It's in production about 18 months from now. You don't even have to go through that much to get your uh, pilot license, like 36 hours. There's going to be people that are going to be flying. But everything you thought that was dangerous about driving, boy, we're going to put that to the, like, 10th power. It's going to be put people flying. Flying while drunk. Flying while joy flying. <laughs> flying without gas. That means people are going to be, like, coming down, raining out of the sky. What happens when that, what happens? Or if you're like me, you're African American, you know, you're gonna be getting pulled over by the police flying while black. You know, that would definitely be a phenomenon. And there's gonna be high speed chases in the air and everywhere. So just be ready for that day. Okay, you guys are a great audience. I'm David Little. Thank you for your time and attention. Love you. Good foot. Thank you for listening. Woo!